Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Scorpios. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We're going to start off here with an oracle card. Then we'll proceed to a general tarot reading today. Full circle completion. I like this card. This is an important card for those of you that have had even a difficult period and it's time to come to a close and begin a new cycle. You have chosen to learn from your mistakes and move forward, closing out the cycle. Every layer of yourself you acknowledge is a layer that serves its purpose. You are now feeling your power by seeing your inner strength and determination pay off. Your grit and resilience pay off. Proud of this moment and let it carry you for, pardon me, be proud of this moment and let it carry you forward. So if you are completing something too, perhaps a project of some sort, I do feel like it brings in quite a sense of accomplishment. All right, you have here the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, what's next? The Page of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Swords, Temperance, the Four of Pentacles, and the Sun. Well, I do feel like that what's next is, is, is very accurate. Um, I feel like too with this, let's say we have water, earth, uh, fire, and we do have air, so all the elements showing up here. Two major arcana. I also feel like, too, you have a new beginning and an initiation with that Ace of Swords. But I actually like this Page of Cups here because it softens some things. I do feel like if you've been working really hard on something and it's been the majority of your focus, you might have a little bit of a mental like downtime where you kind of go, I feel a little lost without this. If you have taken on some sort of a project and it's just been so much of your energy, or even if you've retired, if you're going into retirement and you're like, I don't even know what to do with myself, what's next is how this keeps coming up. But I tell you what, with the sun and the energy of temperance, the sun will shine on you. It's a wonderful energy. So if you are starting a new chapter, if you've had the conclusion of something, I feel like the best is yet to come. You have that dawn of a new day there in the card of temperance too. Whoops, how about like this? So we have here this five of pentacles. I feel like there's something a bit bittersweet. So there's an ending, but it does feel bittersweet. If you had a job that unfortunately you were laid off from or you had something important close like your church or somewhere that you spent a lot of time. I feel like this shows a separation in moving forward doing it, saying I'm just going to put one foot in front of the other, but not being happy, joyous, and free. This is not skipping forward. Now you do have happy, joyous, and free with the sun, but I feel like you've earned every single bit of that. Like you've had to go through something here. And so with this five of pentacles, also too, if you moved away from your family and you had to do to money reasons, you had to go move and uh, because you got money showing up here as perhaps part of the motivation with the four, seven and five of pentacles, or even just a more stable life. If you had just not enough opportunities where you were and saying, I needed to move on because there just wasn't any way to grow. There was a governor over your life. I do feel like you're going to move into that new freedom in a new place and really feel like it was the best thing to do, even if it was somewhat conflicted. I feel like somebody had a bit of a conflict in making a decision. But again, you've got that energy of completion and taking your power back. So what was disempowering feels like you're reaping the rewards. Now we have a harvest moon coming up September 17th, and I feel like it's this where it's like, when is it going to be my turn? When am I going to get some wins? I put a lot in. I'm good to everybody. I try hard, but I don't feel like I get much of a return. I feel like you finally have a return coming in. And I feel like it's well-deserved. I get it with this too. I mean, he's a bit um, worn down here. It's, it's again, that wounded warrior card with the seven of pentacles. I feel like you're finally going to get what you have coming and it's positive. 
And so with that seven of pentacles too, if it's been a real labor of love, if you've been working on something like an Etsy shop or a business where you say it's taken up all my time, I lost a relationship, I lost you know, countless opportunities that I could have spent with my family and I gave them away. And I say that, and I say that with a lot of heart. Okay. Like I, I felt like I had to, I feel like you're finally going to say that was worth it though. The focus and the drive paid off. It was temporary. Those occasions, those things that didn't work out, maybe they just weren't for you. But with the Seven of Pentacles, you have new opportunities, new people, places, things. And I feel like you're really turning a corner. If you had a period, like we talked about, that was difficult and challenging. With the Page of Cups here, this is also, by the way, social imitation. So especially if you felt like you had to really invest a lot of time and missed out on a lot of things, or if you were working two jobs and you missed out on your kids' games, or parent-teacher conferences, or, you know, somebody else, some other parent was taking over and doing a lot of things because you just didn't have the time. I can remember when my kids were little, I worked part-time, um, and there were these two moms, and honestly, their kids ended up having a lot of issues later on. I mean, I won't get into the details, but I remember them, neither one of them worked outside of the home, and they were both older, like quite a bit older, and anyway, they called themselves the overachieving moms, but it was like there was something toxic about it. So I feel like it's kind of like you step into this new cycle where you say, you know, I'm glad I didn't have any part of that. I'm glad I'm free of that. I'm glad I'm not a toxic person. I'm glad I didn't jump into toxicity. And so with this, like I said, you have social invitations coming in here. And this uh, Page of Cups too, he's merry, he's fun, he's upbeat, he's optimistic. He doesn't have a negative bone in his body. So in terms of love and, and that sort of thing, if you did have a relationship that ended, this can be a chance encounter just by the way. And it's somebody too where you'll say, you know, I think this all worked out because if I was still in that other relationship that wasn't really fulfilling and it was kind of empty and I felt lonely in it a lot of the time, um, I feel like you, you'll you say, I wouldn't have this opportunity. I wouldn't talk to this person in this way. I wouldn't be able to connect with them. And so I feel like you're in a new cycle that's going to introduce new people into your life. But you got to get yourself out there too. You got to be available. So if you, again, have really been grinding away, we got to have some opportunity to say yes to life, to say yes to the invitations because you got a nice one coming in here. So nines are attainment and realizations, but I honestly feel like this is just that grind. It's like somebody here, you've put in the work, you've done what you needed to, and now you're coming out on the other side. It is completion. That's exactly what this represents in a new beginning. So you've got a goal that you've accomplished and you've got clarity. Now, if you had some casualties along the way, like we talked about, where you just didn't have the time, you couldn't spread yourself any thinner than you were, I do feel like you're going to find that that heals pretty quickly, that you're not going to be on the outside looking in, because I kind of get it with this, like that outside looking in, like everybody else has been, you know, together and I've, I've been busy doing other things and I've really lost a lot of time here. I just feel like with the nine of wands, you're going to hit the ground running. You come out of this and it's like you really, in some ways, will appreciate your, your life even more. Those of you that have been so focused on completing something, you'll appreciate all those little things even more. And I don't feel like it's going to be painful. I don't feel like that energy of I missed out on a lot will continue. Now with this Ace of Swords, this is information coming in too. So I do feel like with this, you're going to look at things and you're going to say, I'm glad I did what I did. I see it now that this was important. If you did make a move, this is an upright sword, which is a yes, but it also has the yods or the yods of the tarot that bring in gifts. And so it cuts through the crown of the ego. If there was somebody too trying to second guess your decisions for your life, trying to control you, even you know, codepending all over you, and that can be very bothersome because it feels like it's real concern and it, there's something else underneath it when it's codependent. With this Ace of Swords, I feel like you have a brand new beginning. And it feels light. It feels like you've cut free of anything holding you back. You've finished what you've started. You're in a new place at a new time. And you're ready to just move forward. It's also very honest, upright communication. So the communication you get will be clear. 
Your decisions will be easy to make. And with the energy of temperance, you have a lot more balance coming in, which I do feel has been needed. So this restores your life into balance, moderation, support, love, security, all the good stuff, but it is light and easy. So if, it, if you felt heavy and burdened, I do feel like as you enter into this next phase, it's going to be a whole lot easier. This also brings in repair. So if, like I said, you felt like you missed out on something, I feel like you're going to be looking at things, the world with new eyes, but I also feel like you're going to have lots of opportunities. So it won't, it won't feel like you've missed a beat even with this. And in terms of relationships, it's real love and it's a very supportive partner. So if you, in the past, if you had some kind of training or something you had to do, that was a lot of hours and that's where you feel like the relationship splintered. I do feel like this one won't do that. They would be like, hey, I'll take a road trip and go with you. Okay, with this Four of Pentacles, you have money coming in, but I also feel like you're going to be smart with it. You've got, like I said, in, when we talked about the four, five, seven of pentacles, you've got to change for the better, but fours are also about order, stability. So I do feel like with this, you're going to hang on to things that are important to you. I feel like you're going to make smart decisions. And with the energy of the sun, it's joy. It's the return to happiness. It's a new energy and it's gains. Big time gains show up when the sun is here. And in terms of relationships too, though, it is a match. It is somebody that you'll look at and say, you know what, this is the right one. This is what I, I needed to lose the old in order to have this. The situation will improve. I should say the cards say it too. Ask your angels. They're communicating with you through the reading. Look for a sign. The signs and synchronicities are talking to you within the next few weeks. And they say there's something better. Good things are on the way for you, Scorpio. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.